Hi, it's Pavel with another daily homework and this time we have a C++ exercise from a, a book starting out with C++ from con control structures through objects and it's chapter 4 exercise 7 time calculator you can see the description of the problem on the screen uh, basically the user will enter a number which will represent the number of seconds and we will then uh, figure out how many seconds, minutes, hours and days uh, that number represents. Now this is uh, from a chapter on control structures like uh, if statements and you could do that that way. You could do like uh, if number is greater than or equal 60, you know, the, then the number of minutes equals this much. But um, uh, I came up with a little different solution, and uh, well, hopefully it will help you. So let's get coding. All right, so I have my uh, main methods, and um, let's declare some uh, variables. So we will have integer number of uh, well number. Let's start with seconds. Seconds. Zero uh, integer num minutes equals zero integer num uh, hours equals zero integer num days equals zero. Now I will also need a, a variable that will hold like a temporary. Uh, calculations and but this one this one will be uh, float and I will explain why the uh, these uh, variables are integers and one the well why the temporary one is going to be a float so uh, temp uh, seconds all right now let's uh, ask the user to uh, uh, enter the number of seconds the number of seconds and let's I'll put it on the new line and uh, of course we have to capture the input so we got and we'll capture it into num seconds num seconds so the user will enter a number and that will, will represent the total number of seconds. Now I'm going to calculate uh, the number of uh, seconds, minutes, hours and days. Except I'll start from days. I'll start from the highest one. So it's going to be um, number of days equals and it's going to be number of seconds divided by 86,400 because there are 86,400 seconds in a day in other words the overall number of seconds the total number of seconds that the user enter divided by 86,400 will give me number of days that's why days is an integer because uh, uh, this will give you under normal circumstances this would give you a float it would give you one point and whatever other number of seconds is left but since the number of days is declared as an integer we will only capture the integer part of it the one and the whatever is point and uh, after that it uh, will be dis uh, discarded we will it doesn't round it it will simply not use it at all so let's say if the number of seconds is 86,400 and one then it will be number of days will hold one and the extra one second uh, will be will be gone we won't need that so this is uh, I'll just write a note calculate uh, days now I will put the uh, whatever is left the leftover I will put into the temporary seconds 
and that will uh, 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 that will equal to uh, the number of seconds that that was entered mod 86400 so this is the opposite of this this will hold the number of seconds uh, after the point in other words if this one would be 1.1 number of days will hold 1 and this will hold the point 1 and we're going to use that in order to calculate uh, the number of minutes and then later number of hours I mean the number of hours first then number of minutes so uh, number uh, so I will I will put a note first there uh, a little comment um, how many seconds are left in other words how many seconds are left after this calculation so number of hours will equal the uh, temporary seconds temp seconds divided at 3600 3, again we calculate in hours and there are 3600 seconds in one hour so if the reminder of uh, uh, the temporary seconds holds uh, 3700 this will equal 1 and that's because again number of hour is integer it will discard the floating point so uh, let me write a comment that's a uh, calculate hours and again we'll capture whatever is left into temporary seconds equals uh, again the total number of seconds number of uh, seconds uh, mod 3600 so this is again how many seconds are left so we capture the day whatever is left over we use to calculate the hours now we capture the leftover and we'll calculate the minutes from it and that's going to be uh, the number of uh, minutes equals temporary seconds uh, divided by 60 because there are 60 seconds uh, in a minute Let's calculate minutes and now after this we'll we have to we still have to calculate the number of seconds which will be whatever is left after all these calculations are performed so it's gonna be 10 seconds equals number of seconds mod 60 and that's left over seconds we don't have to do anything else with that we don't calculate any milliseconds or anything like that so let me output the output <laughs> and uh, we'll calculate num of num seconds and we will do as yeah, seconds equals and now we will output uh, number of days uh, days and num hours uh, you know what it's days comma number of hours uh, hours comma uh, num minutes minutes comma and that's gonna be the seconds and and 
it's gonna be it's actually not gonna be number of seconds because again number of seconds holds the initial input it's going to be temporary seconds um, seconds seconds and your line whatever okay so um, let's see how that works let's build it see out enter number of seconds I have IO stream did I forget semicolon somewhere what's the problem oh Jesus <laughs> not count wow never mind that happens I guess oh I just like to count okay so I forgot something here probably uh, days Hours, minutes. Oh, it is expected before. Well, of course it expects this. Uh, I think I just like the Visual Studio better. But uh, let's see. Can I get it finally to work? Yay! All right. So let's see. There's eighty-six thousand four hundred um, seconds in a day. So. Uh, how about we do this? 86,400, that would be one day, plus, plus uh, 3,600, which would be uh, one hour, plus uh, another 60, which would be one minute, plus one. So this number, 90,061, 90, should give us uh, 90,061, should give us uh, one day, uh, one hour, one minute, one second. So equals one day, one hour, one minute, and one second. So if I enter something smaller, let's say, 86,399 so one second short from a full day it's, so it says zero days 23 hours 59 seconds and 59 minutes and 59 seconds so it seems to be working all right so let's uh, recap we have integers to capture the days hours minutes and seconds they're integers because we will be capturing the reminder of the calculations into the temp seconds variable so after the user enters the number well, let's say again uh, it's 90,000 or whatever we had then it will divide it by 86,400 but only keep the integer part so number of days will equal one we will capture the reminder of the calculation into a temporary seconds variable and then we will use that to calculate the number of hours by dividing that by 3600 again it will only hold the uh, integer portion of it of the calculation and we will capture the reminder into the same variable temp seconds again and do that again to calculate the minutes the same way except it's divided by 60 and again the integer part is the number of minutes and the reminder part and the final part is going to be the uh, number of seconds left after days hours and minutes and we will output the output all right so um, I'll see you next video take care